Here's one that's going to bring some page stalkers right out of the woodwork. I'm talking about some page voyeurs. You know who you are. You've been following the page, following the channel, looking at the posts. Maybe you messaged a couple times, but you haven't pulled the trigger. I'm going to give you a real good reason right now. Monster player setup right here. And I don't mean monster because it's got a bunch of inlays and all kinds of silver and gold. I'm talking about a monster on the felt right here. This is a 2016 Pat Davini in very good condition. Just got sent here to Crossroad Cues from a good friend of ours. We picked it up in a package deal from a good friend of ours from down in Houston, Texas. Maybe some of you recognize the queue. The guy that had it is a very, very, very strong player, a 10-speed as a matter of fact. And this was at one time his main player. It's in really good shape. But look at the snake wood on this queue. I mean, absolutely ridiculous snake wood. All the way through the handle. Now, you guys know we like to call it a slick handle. And then all the way through the points. What's amazing about this one, this, is, this was made in 2016. The joint is the real deal Holyfield. That's the natural stuff. The cap and all the rings which also are bordered in copper there, you can see. That's the real deal Holyfield right there. So natural joint, natural cap, made in 2016 by the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Pat Davini, the Iowa cue maker who notably won cue maker of the year just a couple of years ago at the Super Billiards Expo. Pat does a wonderful job with his cue making. You cannot say enough about the playability and the craftsmanship behind a Divini Q. There are certain cues that come through here, and we have the privilege of dealing with all kinds of different custom cues from various cue makers. I love the wide variety of different people's artistic abilities and styles and tastes. But when it comes to playability, as many of you know, the full splice tends to be one of the best players. I won't say the best because, you know, the hit is subjective. The playability is subjective. Everybody likes something different. Some guys like rap. Some guys like rap lists. If you like a slick handle full splice, the reason I said this is going to pull some of you page voyeurs out of the woodwork is because you don't see natural jointed Davinis in this type of condition for this type of price. This cue comes with a 12.4 Revo sitting right there next to it. 29-inch uh, butt, 29-inch on the Revo, 15 ounces on the butt 15 ounces and 3.4 on the revo 12.4 2750 quick sale priced plus shipping 2750 now pat's prices continue to climb we've sold cues in recent times with no natural material for just as much money maybe just a touch less pat's prices are going up and up and up for good reason the guy's overloaded with orders. He camps out at a lot of the local tournaments in the Midwest. You can see him with a huge display at the Super Billiards Expo. And of course, one of my favorites, the Derby City Classic, baby. His cues are all up in action. Long points, snake wood in the handle and the points again. Take a look at that. I'll try to really capture it for you on camera. Snake wood is one of those woods that everybody seems to love, but if you talk to any of the cue makers, they'll tell you the challenges of building with snake wood. But boy, oh boy, oh boy, is it beautiful. Beautiful. Now, this is not a wallflower. This cue is set up to play. The gentleman that sold it to me, again, very, very good player. Used it at one time for his main player. There's a couple tiny marks just right there at the joint. I mean, tiny marks. No big deal. There's no dents, no dings in the handle anywhere. The butt rolls laser straight. Now here's the good, the bad, and the ugly. Nothing wrong with the butt. The Revo's in perfect condition. The maple shaft that comes with this, this is only a 12 millimeter uh, maple shaft. The weight on that was around about 3.2, I'm sorry, 3.4 on the maple and 3.6 on the um, Revo shaft. But anyway, the maple shaft that also has the natural ring work on it here it has a really bad taper roll i would just count it as not even having a shaft i mean that may not bother some of you but you know that we are 
full transparency here, hence our perfect reviews. If you're new to our page or new to our channel, check out our website, CrossroadQs.com. You will not find a more reputable dealer or somebody that's more passionate about these beautiful pool cues. I love to play with them. I love the fact that we get to exemplify them and we get to offer you custom cues from cue makers all over the world. Pat Davini, 2016. I would rate this cue about an eight and a half out of nine easily. I would just count it as not even having the maple shaft. I'm throwing it in there because it's got the matching ring work. But this cue is dynamite with this Revo shaft. I'm not even a carbon guy. I don't have anything against them. I like to play with keel wood. I like to play with regular maple, 13 millimeter. And I've you know recently been kind of dabbling a little bit with the Predator 314s. I see the value in all of them. But the Revo shaft with this particular natural joint on this Divini just plays perfect. Trust me on that. 100% money back guarantee. If you don't like it, send it back and we will keep it. Pat Davini, 2016, available right now at Crossroad Cues. It'll be on the website soon, crossroadcues.com. Guys, do me a favor. If you're watching us on Facebook, like or follow our YouTube channel, Crossroad Cues. If you're on YouTube, check us out at Crossroad Cues Gallery page. I don't expect this cue to last very long. Getting back to Pat's pricing. For a cue with a natural joint and butt cap, I don't even know at this point, with some of the regulations, if he would be able to replicate that. Nevertheless, for a full splice with a Revo, you're going to pay mid-3,000s from Pat right now. And I don't even believe that he'd be able to make it with the same material. So $27.50 plus shipping, available right now at Crossroad Cues. Thanks for taking a peek.